See this ambulance light bar? Do you think you could script it? You might think this is too hard for you, but it isn't because you're smart. So in this video, I'm going to teach you some things and then I'll give you some quizzes to test yourself. And then by the end of this video, you can see how many quizzes you got right. And also by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to script this thing and you can do it yourself and understand every single line of code. All right, so first up, just get studio open. So what you want to do is go over to create.roblox.com and then look for create experience and then just click on that. And then Roblox Studio will load itself up and then look for base plate and click on base plate. All right, so in the beginning of the video, I showed you a ambulance light bar. So I showed you an ambulance light bar and it looked like this. These are basically called parts. This is a red part and this is a white part. And here's how parts work in studio. So you can literally go over to home and click on part and then it creates a part for you. So you can just take your part, move it like over here and then just create another part. So go back to home, click on part. And then now you should have two parts. You can just take the second part and just kind of join it together with the first part. And then you can also use this move tool to help yourself join this a little bit better. So I'm just going to try to get this right there. And then, oh, <laughs> this kind of looks off. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now we have two parts. It kind of looks like one big part, but basically you just want to have one part here and one part here. And then you're going to want to click on this part and then change the brick color to red. Now, if you don't see this properties or this explorer, what you want to do is maybe your maybe your studio looks like this. Go over to view and then you should see explorer and properties. You can click on them and then from there you can click on your part and then change the brick color to really red. And then this one, you're going to want to change the brick color to inst institutional white. OK, I don't know why they don't just call it white. I know there's a brick color called white, but um, just change it to this white color. And then now the second thing that I want you to notice is that in the in this light bar that I showed you in the beginning of the video, notice that one of them glows and then the second one glows and then the next one. Wait, <laughs> let me say that again. Notice that one of them glows and then the second one glows and then the first one glows again and then the second one glows and then the first one glows and it just happens really, really fast. Right. So it's just kind of alternating whichever one is glowing. So now the question is, OK, how can I make this part glow? Well, if you click on the part, there's actually a property called material. You're going to want to set this property to neon and neon is going to get you that glowing effect. And then now notice that we have the red one glowing and the white one not glowing. So not glowing means that the material is plastic. Glowing means that the material is neon. So if we set this one back to plastic and we set this one to neon, now you can see this one's glowing. So basically what we have to do is we have to tell Roblox, make this one glow and then make this stop glowing and then make this one glow and then make this stop glowing and then make this one glow. That's literally all we have to do. And remember one more time that glowing means that the material is neon, not glowing means that the material is smooth plastic. So if we want this to glow, what do we have to do? Well, we have to just change this material to neon and make sure this one's material is smooth plastic so that it doesn't glow. And then what if we want this one to glow? Well, then we want to set this guy's material to plastic or smooth plastic. By the way, you can choose either one. I'll just use plastic, I guess. So if we want this white one to glow, we want this red one to be plastic and this one to be neon. So hopefully that sounds pretty easy. And now all that's left is telling your script that you want it to do that. And so what you want to do now is click on one and then rename it to red. So I'm just going to rename this red one to red. I'm going to rename this white one to whoop, <laughs> let me spell it correctly to white. OK, hopefully if you've understood this so far, you're pretty smart. Let's continue and let's start coding. So now we want to create a new script inside of server script service. And then it's going to say this print hello world thing. You could just delete it. All right, so hopefully you understand that for one thing to glow, it has to be neon, right? OK, so now we need to tell this script to make the red one glow and the white one not glow. That's the first part. So what we're going to do is let me just change this back to um, plastic. So what we need to do is we need to tell this script, make this red thing glow. That's all we're going to focus on doing for now. Here's how we do it. We can say local red equals workspace dot red. OK, so what does this mean? This means we're telling the script, let red be a nickname for the red under workspace. And what is the red? It's that thing right there. So workspace is that thing right there. Red is the thing inside of workspace and this lowercase red is like a nickname. It's a variable. 
So this is the nickname that refers to that red brick that's inside of workspace. That's all we're saying right here. Now we need to tell this script to make this thing glow. And remember, what did I tell you earlier? To make something glow, you have to set the material to... Okay, go ahead, pause the video and <laughs> fill in the blank. You have to set the material to what to make this neon? Just pause the video, ready? I'm gonna count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you have to set this material to neon. So if you said neon, then you're correct. So that's all we have to do. We have to tell this script that we want to set this red thing's material to neon. And here's how we do it. We say red dot material equals and then quotation marks neon. This whole thing just means set the material of this red part to neon. And then guess what that's going to do? It's literally going to set the material of the red thing to neon. And there you go. There's your first script. There's the thing that tells the red thing to glow. This whole thing just tells the red thing to glow. Hopefully you were able to get this far and it wasn't too complicated. And now let's move on. So we've set the red thing's material to neon. Now what do we have to do? We have to set this thing's material to plastic. So if it looks like this, then we want it to flip so that this one's glowing and this one's not glowing. So what do you have to do? You just have to say local white equals workspace.white. So this thing means the brick that is white inside of workspace, we're going to set that thing's nickname to white. And then if red dot material means neon, then how do you think we can set white material to plastic? Think about it. Red dot material equals neon. Okay, this made the material of the red brick to neon. How do we make the material of the white brick to plastic? Think about it, write it out. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Just pause the video, think about it, write it out, ready? So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you said white dot material equals plastic then you are correct good job you're smart <laughs> so now this thing it sets the white's material to plastic and it sets the red bricks material to neon so now if you you can play it or you can run it there you go so now this thing is plastic as you can see and this thing is neon it's pretty simple you got it all right so now we've successfully set the white bricks material to plastic and the red bricks material to neon now what do we have to do well We've made this, we've made, uh, we've made the red one glow. Now we need to make the white one glow. So how do you make the white one glow? Well, white dot material equals neon. So this means make the white thing glow. And then we have to set the red material back to plastic, but we don't want it to happen instantly. So if you just leave it like this, Roblox is going to do all of this instantly, but we want it to happen like one second later. So we'll do a task dot wait one. This means wait one second. So let's read this from the beginning let red be the red part inside of workspace let white be the white part inside of workspace set the white parts material to plastic this means don't make it glow set the red parts material to neon this means make the red one glow one second later make the white one glow and then make the red one not glow that's it now if you run this you can press f8 on your keyboard one second later it's switched you saw that okay let me let me increase this to two just so you can see a little bit better boom red two seconds later bam and that's it guess what we have to do now it's pretty simple we literally just have to do this over and over and over and over again so now you're probably thinking okay maybe i can just do a task dot wait two and then you're probably thinking ah oh, maybe we can just copy and paste this right we can just go bam and then maybe we can make it wait two seconds again and then copy and paste this bam so now this part means make the red one glow two seconds later make the white one glow two seconds later make the red one glow two seconds later make the white one glow and you're probably thinking okay and maybe i'll make this like task that way 0.5 so it happens faster so instead of two seconds we make it happen 0.5 seconds and then maybe now you're probably thinking okay what, why don't i just do this and then you're probably thinking okay what if i just copy this whole thing and then i just keep on spamming this right you're probably thinking okay what if i just keep on spamming this and i'll just keep on copy and pasting this and eventually i'll turn 48 and realize that i just grew a beard you're probably going to think something like that but this this is going to work perfectly fine so you can see it's actually working fine except that you will be copy and pasting for a very very long time so to prevent this from happening we as a scripter we can tell roblox do this forever and what we're going to do is let me just get rid of these so once again this part makes the red one glow 0.5 seconds later this one makes the white one glow 0.5 seconds later nothing so there's nothing left right so what we want to do is we want to tell roblox to do this thing forever and the way we do it is we say while true do 
So while true do means do this forever. And then what do you want to happen forever? You want to take all of these and put it over there. So this means forever, make the red one glow 0.5 seconds later, make the white one glow. And then now we need to add another 0.5 seconds later. So if we read this again, forever, make the red one glow. 0.5 seconds later, make the white one glow. 0.5 seconds later, now it's going to go all the way back over here. This is called a while loop. Now it's going to make the red one glow. 0.5 seconds later, white one glows. 0.5 seconds later, red one glows. 0.5 seconds later, white one glows. Hopefully you guys see the point, right? So this is literally just going to happen forever and ever and ever and ever. And we don't even have to do anything. Boom. And we're still the same age that we were like five minutes ago. So we didn't grow 40 years old just by copying and pasting. We just told Roblox, use this while true loop. And this thing happens forever. And there you go. There's your ambulance light bar. All right, now let me actually teach you how to make this a little bit better. So one thing you can do is you can make like a light actually emit from this. So inside inside of red, just add a point light and then change the color to red and then change the brightness to like, I don't know, like maybe you want to set this to like 12 and then do the same thing with the white one. So just add a point light, set the brightness to 12. And now notice that we have two point lights. So there's actually something called enabled right here. I'm going to set that to off. I'm going to set this one to off so I can show it to you. So notice that in this particular configuration, the white one is glowing. So we can take the point light, boom, make it enabled. Now the point light that is white is emitting. So this basically is like a way of showing that the white one is glowing using lights. So now we can make this disabled. We can set white back to plastic and we can make the red one neon. And then we can set the point light that's inside of red to enabled and now the red one is glowing. So basically what we can do is we can make this point light turn on and off depending on whichever one is glowing. And that's what we're going to do. So now remember this, right? So all we did here is just flip flop whichever one is neon and whichever one is plastic. Now what we're going to say is we're going to say for the one that's neon. So in this case, red is neon. We want the point light to go on. So red dot point light dot enabled equals true. This means remember that enabled thing, that box that we had to tick. So if this is on, then it glows. And if it's off, then it doesn't glow. We are literally just telling them we're telling the script. We're telling the script, make this point light turn on. That's what this means. And then make the white point light turn off. So white dot point light dot enabled equals false. So make the red glow, make the reds light turn on make the white light turn off. And then we just do the same thing over here, but we flip flop them. So let me read the script to you out loud again so you guys can hopefully understand a little bit better. So forever, make the white not glow. Make the red glow. Make the red's light show up. Make the white's light do not show up. So make the white's light not show up. So basically this part makes the red one glow and also makes it have light. And then 0.5 seconds later, now the white glows, the red does not glow. The red's point light is now off. The white's point light is now on. So this part is red glow. This part is white glow. That's it. It's pretty simple, right? And now if we click on F8, you'll see now we have point lights. You can see the light right there, right? It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Now that's actually the end of this video. But what I'm going to actually do before I end it is instead of lighting, you can actually change the clock time. So you can just drag the slider and now it's going to look really cool. Ready? Watch this. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. Now we have an ambulance light bar and it's nighttime. So this looks really, really cool. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this whole video. Hopefully you guys were able to get this working. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Make sure you turn on notifications too so you don't miss out and I'll see you in the next video.